and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today um, I'm going to be doing two poly gel nails using Jewel Forms and Born Pretty Store's new clear poly gel number seven. I'm using my Jewel Forms that um, I got in a kit by Model Ones. So they look like that and they've got you know guides for a rounded nail I think and a more squared off nail so you could probably do a slightly pointier one if you wanted with these but that's what the guides say so you'll need to make sure that you size them up correctly so it's important that they just fit like that without having to put any pressure to make it go from side to side it should just literally slide on and fit without any pressure because if it's too small and you have to put pressure on you're going to be squeezing all of your product out of the edges and really you just want to put as little pressure as possible just to adhere this to the to the nail so that's important that you make sure you size them up correctly you'll need a clip so that will go on like so I think that's how it goes on or it may go on like that, no, no, I think it goes on like that, the fingers at the bottom and that goes at the top. To press it down, you'll need a poly gel brush with a brush on one side and a spatula on the other. This one was from eBay, um, but I bet you could get one from Born Pretty Store or wherever. I'll put the link for this one in the description box. I think it was about £2.50 something, so it's really cheap. You will need, I'm going to use um, a rubber base coat, the only one that I've got is by Canny. You will need your dehydrator and your nail prep. I'm using a base one, this one I've had no problems with. Um, you will need a buffer to just slightly take the shine off of the nails. And you will need some isopropyl alcohol or a slip solution. So. That's what you will need and a nail file if you need to take any length off of the nail. So that's everything that we'll need. Oh, you need a liquid to put that in and something like a lint free wipe to when you dip the brush into the alcohol as a slip solution, you'll drain the excess off the side of the dish and then just do that because you can't just do this and then it'd be soaking wet all over the poly gel. So what will happen is it will get like a soapy kind of residue and when you cure it, your nail will look white and cloudy, which is not what you want from a clear poly gel. So your nail, your brush has to be damp, but not soaking. And the only time that you need to re-dip into the alcohol is when the brush starts to stick. So if it's not sticking, don't stick it in basically that's that's something that I've learned the hard way because if you keep doing it it just becomes slippy and when you cure it it just you end up with a really sticky layer on the top and when you remove it it still feels sticky and awful so poly gel should um, when you've not when you've used enough alcohol but not too much it can come out just completely matte so when it's cured I've had that with another brand, I think it was gel like. When I didn't put too much of the alcohol on, it came out looking matte. I didn't need to wipe it off. So I'm hoping that the same will happen with this today. So I was going to use a peel off base coat, but I decided against it um, because actually I, might, I want the extensions to stay on. So yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing. So now we're just going to prep, prepare the nail bed. So I'm just going to give it a little rub with the not so abrasive side just to take away and smooth the nail bed. So I'm just going to do the same with this. You can use the slightly rougher side if you don't think it's mattifying it enough. So that's what you do with that. 
um, you'll then get some of your alcohol and clean off your nails and then I'm just going to check the shape the length of this one so I may take it down a little bit so I think I'm just going to do this off camera so it's not really annoying like the sound and then when I filed it down to just just below just where it's touching there then I'll come back and we'll start the process okay so we're back so basically I have filed it down so that it's fairly short like that because if you had it where it was too long then it's just gonna look silly underneath the nail and actually it may catch so just gonna take the edges off of it there. The edge feels a little sharp. Grow into my nail with a sharp edge. Right, so I'm just gonna the nail. So now we're just gonna prep the nail with some alcohol just to take away all of the grease from the nail. Then we are going to apply our primer, I mean our dehydrator and then our primer. So this is the nail prep by base one. So this will dehydrate the nail and make it nice and adhesive. So that is that one. This is from eBay also and it's very inexpensive so I'll put the links to both of these. Then you will put your primer on to the nail, trying to avoid the skin. This is an acid free primer, it's always good to look for an acid free primer as well. But just try and avoid the skin where possible. So, so we're just going to let that dry a little bit. And while it's drying, got everything switched on. And now I'm just going to apply a rubber base. I have seen lots of people using rubber bases. Um, I'm not actually sure what the what the reason is behind it, but I think there is. It is better, so I'm led to believe. And now we'll put the rubber base coat on. You don't need to cap the free edge on this. It just needs to be a thin, a thin layer all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to cure these for about 30 seconds and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back, so they're cured. Um, you don't have to wipe the gel underneath, but I have found that I've seen people do it and I prefer to do this at this stage because I find, I just find it's better for me, to, it just sticks better than if, you know, the gel base is all slippy with the tacky layer. So we'll work on the little nail first. So we'll just make sure that we're in there. So now we're going to need the poly gel. So we need the spatula side of the brush. Only really dispense what you need, like a little bit, because you can always add more, but you can't put back in these tubes. So you want to hold the side with the number in the bottom of your hand. I am, I am pretty new to dual form, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to do my best with it. Just trying to scrape everything onto the side there. So I'm just going to clean the spatula before I put the lid back on it. Should make it a good habit, you know, to try and clean the tools before you use them. So now what we need to do is get our isopropyl alcohol, we need to dip it, dip our brush into it, make sure it's clean and there's nothing coming out of it, get as much off the edge as possible 
and then just dab it onto there and then we'll get the finger mean the dual form so at this stage you want the top part of it to be as thin as possible but you want it to be coming all the way up to the edges so just pull it down pat and be as gentle as you can getting any excess off the sides make sure it's all the way up to the sides have a look to see if you think that the nail is long enough I think that's fine for me so now we're going to hold the nail from the bottom let me just move that stuff out of the way I'm not going to be using to make sure I'm in frame so now we're going to pop this onto the nail bed gently lowering it with very minimal pressure but enough to make sure that it's on it's on the nail that it fits so you need to make sure that it fits now you're going to get your brush again with some alcohol on it and you're going to clean the edges of the nail like so you're going to clean it then you're going to go underneath so at this stage you can pop your clip on to make sure you've got some pressure sure I'm in so wet your brush and make sure that this actually it's probably better to sort of work so make sure you squeeze away any product you don't want so you clean underneath there make sure there's nothing that you don't want on there and just flatten it and make sure it's squeezed down So now I'm just going to cure this and then I'll be right back. Right, so we are back. So now we're going to take this off and see. So it's kind of like a pinch and pull job. So yeah, I don't think that's turned out too bad. To say I've never done this before. But probably what I would do is I'll probably cut and file some of this down but it's not bad it's not bad so I'll probably get my electric drill and go underneath there but overall don't think it's a bad attempt so it doesn't really feel too sticky either but I probably would it is a little tacky but not like that soapy texture that I was telling you about that's not there because we didn't really use much we didn't use much of it so much of the isopropyl alcohol so yeah so overall I'm quite happy with that nail I'll probably shorten it with my cutters and then probably get my e-file on it I might just give it a little nip now not much of it just a little I might just give that a little file and then I'll come back and we'll do the other nail. 
actually I've just decided I'm just going to come back and do the thumbnail. So we're going to get the correct side of the brush. We're going to get our poly gel out. I do think the consistency is a little grainier than the gel like one that I've got as well. But it doesn't feel or look awful, you know what I mean, on, on, the, uh, on the nail itself. So I would use this on my nails. I think it's alright, you know what I mean, the price is reasonable as well. I think it was about £2 something for the 20 grams. So it's, it is a reasonable price. So we've got the poly gel in there. Just cover up our spatula, clean out the brush. You will notice that the water will start to look cloudy, so it's important that you make sure you clean, you clean in the brush thoroughly. So let's go. So you just sort of drag it, drag it down lightly. making sure the cuticle part is nice and thin it's thinner than like the middle part and then when you think it's looking all right Make sure there's nothing on the edge, the front of the nail or at the side. Just give it a little wipe. And if you notice that there's any light bubbles like that, just um, just get a little. Right, let me grab this. Just bear with me. Just trying to grab some and just pop it, just get rid of it and then go over it again with your brush. So just smooth it out again and it's gone. You start to feel it, it start feeling like it's pulling when it's getting sticky. So that that looks fine to me. So I'm gonna measure that up. See that I'm happy with it. I think that length will be okay. Yeah, be fine. So, you just check it's all up the side walls and everything looks okay. And you just, just be sure frame for you guys. Hold it at the bottom. And just as light as you can adhere it to the nail. Really lightly push down, but not too hard. And then you need to tip your hand over if you can. See, I'm not an expert at this yet. Get everything from out from underneath your free edge and just pat that down. I'm 
just make sure you clean all around the edge with your brush. Clean up is so important otherwise you're going to spend hours filing it and it's going to look awful. So yeah, you, you don't want, you might as well take your time doing this right while it's, you know, not, not cured or trying to do it as best as you can. Making sure. Then we're going to put this in the lamp any second. So you get your clip. Anybody tell me if I'm doing this the wrong way around as well. I'd appreciate it because I really don't know if this is right or not. So now I'm happy with that. Right, so I am back. I've filed and shaped everything just to speed the video up really but all I did really was get my e-file and just give everything a good file around these areas I buffed them shaped them and went underneath a little with the e-file to thin some of it out where I'd gone a little bit wrong and it was a little bit lumpy and bumpy and a bit thick but overall I think you know they've come out it's come out okay I mean I'm quite happy with it quite happy with it I think that you know it would make a nice set so what we're gonna do now is just work on a little bit of polishing and varnishing so this hand needs a base coat. We'll need a base coat on these three layers. You don't need to put a base coat on here because you've already got your poly gel layer down. So I'm gonna try the Born Pretty Peel Off base coat on this hand. So I've already prepped it and wiped it with isopropyl alcohol before um, before I did this so I'm really just going to finish it finish this video at this stage and then I'm going to do a part two where I add some gel polish on it that I was sent to review by Born Pretty so that's what we're going to do I'm just going to add this peel off base coat on because I'm going to try it and see if this peels off okay because I do have a problem peeling off peel off base coats <laughs> they seem to um, stick to my nails like a regular base coat would but I'm going to give this a go so I'm just going to cure this and then I'll come back right so yeah so this is that's the finished poly gel nails overall I think it feels nice um, so yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish wrap this video up and then I'm going to do a part two using this purple polish and a stamping plate that I was sent to review um, it's a square plate I can't seem to find it off the top of my head but I'm going to find the plate and then I'm going to come back with a part two and I'm going to decorate these nails. So thanks for watching, bye!